Making a foot rig is a little more complicated. Um, as we probably have seen, if I grab this control and I move my character around, my feet go through the floor. Um, one of the reasons feet are more complicated is there are multiple points at which they can pivot on the ground. So we could um, rotate from the ankle, or we could be pivoting from the back heel or from the ball of the foot. So a foot rig can be a little more complicated to make. I'm going to make a simple one first and show you how to do that in case your foot is more simple than this. But if you have a foot that has a ball and a toe, then you may want to do a more complicated rig, and I'll show you that next. So first, we're going to need the control. So I'll create the control, hold down V, and snap that to the ankle. Scale that up a little bit, and then I'll do edit, delete by type, history, and modify freeze transformations. So all of our numbers are back to neutral here, and I'll call this R leg CTRL for control. Now I also want to just go ahead and name my IK handles here. So we'll call this L leg IK and R, R leg IK. And while I'm at it, I'll just go ahead and duplicate this control and make my other one just so I don't have to do it later. Control D, name that L leg control, and then hold down V and snap that to the other ankle. Again, modify freeze transformations to get all my numbers back to zero. So we have the controls. We have an IK. Let me show you the simple version of the leg first. The simple version will be to select the control, and we're going to do a point constraint to the IK. Constraint point. And then we would select the control again and do an orient constraint to the foot. So constraint, orient, and we're going to want to make sure maintain offset is turned on. When I do that, now when I move this foot, it will control our foot in both the rotation and the position. However, um, this is not going to give us a good solution if we need our character to roll up onto the ball of the foot. In order to do that, we would have to pose our character's foot like this and just try to manually make it look like that's happening. So we can do that, but it's a little bit more work on the animation. So I'm going to show you a little bit more of a complicated foot rig. To do this, I'm going to control Z a few times until we get rid of those constraints that I just made. There we go. So there's a slightly more complicated way of making this foot, but it will give you more control. It may be a little confusing, but you'll see the results as we follow along. So if I go to skeleton, create IK handle. I'm going to create another IK handle from my ankle to the ball of my foot. Now, the reason I did that is because now I can control the rotation of that ankle from the ball. I will go ahead and call this R foot IK. And I am going to group that IK to itself. So I'm going to put it in an empty group. If I hit control G, now I have this empty group that the only thing it has in it is the R foot IK. And if I were to rotate that, you'll see that really all this gives me is the option to sort of change the pivot point from where I rotate that IK handle. What I'm going to do is make that pivot point the same location as the end of the IK handle. If I hold down or if I hit D, and then hold down V, I can change my object's pivot point, or my group's pivot point, to that point right there. So after I've done that, I can now have this group drive other things. So let's go ahead and name it R foot IK group. And so what I can do, right foot IK group, and I can select the right leg IK and say constrain 
parent. Now after I've done that, if I choose the right foot IK group, I can rotate that and it will make my character pivot there. Now, the last thing that I want to do in order to make this work is if I move this group underneath my right foot control by middle click dragging it, I should now be able to select this control and move the entire foot around, but at the same time, if I grabbed that right foot IK, I could pivot at that location. So I know that was probably really confusing, but the result of this is that I now have an extra feature that I can animate that allows me to rotate up onto the ball of my character's foot. I'm going to go ahead and do that again on the other side just so you can see it. Again create IK handle from the ankle to the ball. I will name that L foot IK and then I will group it to itself. Control G to group that. And I'll call this L foot IK group. Now the pivot point is at the center. I really want that to be at the ball of the foot. So I'll hit D and hold down V to move that and snap it. So now that's the new pivot point for this group. And it's the same location as the pivot point for the actual IK. From there, I'll select the group and hold down control and in my outliner select left leg IK. And I'll say constrain parent so now I get the option to rotate up onto that, right? And the last thing I will do is middle click drag this left foot IK group on top of my left leg control. And so now I have the option to rotate my entire foot, but I also have the option to rotate up onto the ball of that foot as well. So, this is still just a partially completed rig because there are some things I want to be able to control from the controllers themselves. So we'll pick that up in the next video.